Uh, hello everybody and welcome back to some stone block 2. How you guys doing today? I hope you are doing well. So, last episode, we got together, done some quality of life changes. Um, since then, I haven't done a whole lot of playing. Uh, it's been a few days. I had to do some furniture moving. I have got a new computer desk, done all that. Uh, and then we run into a bunch of lag. Uh, if we come in here, you will see most of our cows are no more. Uh, seems to be, I don't know if it's a single player, uh, if single player it's better, or if it's just a server thing. Uh, but the more chickens I, or not chickens, but the more cows I put down, the worse it got. It got to the point where I had all these full and a few in here and you couldn't even play. Matter of fact, it took me almost two hours to break all this stuff out and get it to where it's playable again. So, if you are playing, be careful with how many of these you use. Now, as far as quests goes, I have gotten all the chickens breeded that we need to breed. We'll look at that in just a second. Also, our cows. We're at 96%. I've got two left to do. Evil Infused Iron, Molten Infinity. These have been a pain in my backside. I'm hoping with you all, no, it didn't help. Oh, there's a cow in there. We're going to use him. Or not a cow, that's a pig. You're not getting back. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where I've been at. I haven't done much uh, trying to get the last two cows that we need. They're being a pain. They've updated. They put out a beta update that has the chances a little bit higher than what they are right now as far as um, some of the chances with that. Um, but I have been busy since we can't use cows or using chickens. Not going to do all the chickens, basically just going to use the ones that we're going to need. So that's kind of where we are with that. So, first off, we've got a ton of quests to complete. Matter of fact, we've got 24. All of them are cow and chicken rewards. Hopefully, we get something good out of these. Uh, builder we don't necessarily need. Uh, another flux storage, another ultimate furnace is nice. Uh, another garden close, we're fixing to start using some of them. Dragon egg crux, nether star crux, not bad. Capacitors we don't need. Um, not terrible. Oh, we didn't get everything. Didn't get everything at all. Inventory cakes we don't need. Another nether star crux. Is that everything? Oh no, it's not a nether star crux. That was the nether star crux we already got. One of my chickens just hatched. What do we got? I am working on gas tier chickens. Alright, so today I'm thinking we're going to start working on a bit of farmcraft. Oh, everybody's favorite thing. Let's go ahead and put this down. It won't hurt. Give us some more power. We've got more power than we need right now, but pretty soon we're not going to have a whole lot. As soon as I get all these garden cloches set up, we're going to be hurting on power. Alright, so... To get started with, let's get rid of all this stuff. We don't need none of this. I uh, don't need that right now. Don't need that. Uh, to get started with Thumbcrafts, of course, you're going to have to sift some gravel to get these crystals. Place them down, pick them up. We need to sleep. I don't have a clue can only sleep at night. How close is it to being night? That is something that we need to find out. 
I need some gold and a piece of redstone. We have no gold. Alright, so we need to remember how to make a clock. I haven't made one of these things in years. So it is the middle of the afternoon, so we've got a bit to go. So, what I'm going to work on doing for a few minutes is breaking a bunch of these. Uh, these are going to be what we're going to need to get started out. So let me get these made, or these broke up, and then I will be back. Alright, we're back. I went to catch that. Uh, but we went to sleep. Uh, and that's how you get started in Thomcraft. Uh, you get this little book. First off, you got to get these crystals, uh, and it'll give you that this your fingers feel your fingers tingle strangely as you handle the crystal. What does that mean? Maybe some rest will inspire you. So then you sleep. Uh, you get this book, and it tells you how to make your Salus Mundus, and it also tells you how to get your Thumbnomicon. So. To make Salus Mundus, we need a bowl. And I should have a bowl in here somewhere. I do. So we need a bowl. We're going to need way more redstone. I don't think we're going to need that much flint. It's just three. Just three. And let's make a little bit of this because we're going to need quite a bit before it's done and over with. And that also completed our quest. And we got two more resident conversion kits. That's not bad. Alright, so we can put our book up. We don't need it. Next up, we're going to need to make some bookshelves. We got one piece of leather. Two pieces of leather. Aha, leather. Three. Let's get some paper. Let's go ahead and make a bunch of paper because we're going to need it before it's done and over with. And we're going to need more wood than that because we got to make a bookshelf. So we need three books, there's our bookshelf, place our bookshelf down, right click some Salus Mundus on it, and boom, we've got our Thaumonomicon. And we got a climbing glove. I'm tired of getting those. Alright, so next up is we need to make a arcane workbench. And actually we need to open our book. It didn't like that. Alright, so first steps. We got to do this. We need to make the arcane workbench. That's for the Salus Mundus. Just a normal crafting table with that. We need four pieces of wood. We'll place it down right here for the time being. And there is our arcane workbench. And we are also going to need a research table. So let's look at our book types of knowledge that doesn't show us 
This will tell us we need scribing tools and our workbench. So there is a wood table. And for the scribing tools, we need a glass bottle, a feather, and some black ink. And there's that. Let's go get some glass. pistol and we need a feather which I should have there and that should be all we need for this and there is our scribing tools all right so let us move to our thumb craft home we're gonna have to be doing a lot of running back and forth So we can place this down. I'm going to place it right here. Because uh, I've got to decorate this room still. There is our arcane workbench. Should be able to right click with that. And that give us our work table. And that give us four speed upgrades. Alright, so, our next bit of business. This kind of leaves us high and dry here as far as where we need to go next. we got to get into infusion. We need to make the caster's gauntlet, and we also need to make niter. In order to get to that point, we need, first off, to complete that. This tells us how to do our theory, and this we can't do well, we can do it observation. First things first, though. Let's complete that. We need to get us a thermometer. So let's put... That in there. We've got a nice chunk here that's got 200. Let's throw some paper in here. And we are going to need some gold and some glass. Alright, so we've got our glass pane. We've got our gold. And there we go. It does say inventory scanning is available. So we can scan all of this stuff. and learn stuff as we go. As you can see, we are gaining knowledge. There's that. And if you look at stuff, you see this, we just scanned that, it doesn't have the sparkles on it. This stuff has sparkles, that means we haven't learned that yet. So there we go, we can learn that. We learned torches. Hopefully this has where we can just look at this. Oh yeah. We can scan boxes or scan crates and get all kinds of stuff. Alright, I think I have got everything scanned. I think. I did realize that our chicken, or not our chickens, our cows are ready to be bred again. And no such luck. We're going to let him grow. Alright, so that should have unlocked us quite a bit of stuff here. 
Uh, we've unlocked plants, which tells us about silverwood and great wood. We've already got some of that. Um, tells us about ores, cinnabar, V crystals. We've already got that. Um, we unlocked this. We can complete that. Of course, we can't do celestial observations because we cannot see in the sky. And we can complete that. And we can now get into alchemy. So we need to make a crucible. This is all done. It shows us how to make arcane stone. This is something that we're going to be making quite a bit of because I'm going to be using it for decorating. So, but first off, we need crucible. And for that, we are going to need some iron. That's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. There's a cauldron. We can place the cauldron down. Click it with our Salus Mundus. And we've got our crucible. So that is complete. And next up is our Nitor, and in order to make that, we've got to use it. We're going to need 10 Potentia, 10 Lux, and 10 Ignis. And of course, this doesn't show us the best way of doing that. We can click on here, and it will show us what has Potentia in it, uh, what has we can look up Ignis. And Lux. Whoops. So Ignis. All kinds of stuff in here. And then Lux. And I've got to remember exactly what is the best. One, two, three, four, five. That's got one of each. We need ten. So it takes care of Potentia and Ignis. And for Lux, we can use one of those. And we're going to need another piece. Alright, so we got a crucible. We're going to need some buckets. And I can never find my buckets. Alright, so we're going to need a bucket of lava. And I'm going to have to make a water source down here. So let me do that. I'll be right back. Alright, so one of the other things we are going to need is we're going to need nether quartz. We can take nether quartz and get quartz slivers out of them. We're going to need them to try to help eliminate some of the flux that we're going to be releasing out here. Alright, so first off we need to get some water in here. This can be automated, which we will do eventually. Next up, we're going to need our tin torches and our glowstone. Once it's boiling, we can throw our torches in, throw our glowstone dust in, we can throw our other glowstone dust in, and that did not give me what I wanted. Why did that not work? I can't do that yet because I haven't learned it. And we're fixing to <coughs> <coughs> let a bunch of flux go in the air. Now, what was it? Potentia, Lux, Ignis. Ten of each. I finally figured it out. I'm retarded. Um, 
you know, I have those moments. Let's try this again. And I've created a ton of flux trying to figure this out. So we're going to have to be careful around here. So. Let's empty this out. Put that in there. Let it boil. We need one of those and one of the glowstone dust. And then we right click with the glowstone dust. That's where the issue is coming in. Do I have anything else left in this? I don't think I should. Oh no, I do. Alright. So there we go. Finally got our Nitor. Matter of fact, I can cut all that out and maybe nobody will ever know. We got Void Metal Ingots. So, since this is taking forever, I think the last thing we're going to do is the Liquid Death. Now, we are nowhere near getting the Liquid Death here. It's way out here. Um, we need to make Magic Tallow to make Magic Tallow. Ignis and Rotten Flesh. We might be able to do that right quick. I don't know if I've got Rotten Flesh or not. Uh, this, I do have one. Oh, the Nitor you can use as a fuel source in a furnace. Uh, you can actually place it down and use it as a light source. And we can actually use it underneath our crucible here as a heat source. So that should have enough water in it. We've got the rotten flesh. We can get a Ignis from here. Throw that in there right click it with that we've got magic tallow and that should complete that and we've got to go through all the other stuff which we've got to get gunpowder slime ball ink sack ink sack we can't do just yet but we can complete the quest for liquid death because we do have our liquid death cow Matter of fact, he should be ready for breeding again. We're going to go up here and breeding. Get us our quest complete and be done with this for today since we already look like a fool. Liquid Death Bucket complete. Liquid Death Bucket you can use um, in killing mobs. Uh, it, it is a... Uh, it will damage you, so... If you use it, be careful. Give me? No. Still not going to give it to me. Alright, so, but we got that quest complete. We can complete that reward. We got some more. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take all these I can get. Go ahead and, oh, we got a... That should fill up rather nicely. That gives us a total of 39.4 million RF stored. So not too terrible. So I'm going to spend some time in between episodes doing some research so we can get a bit farther along in our Thombinomicon. Matter of fact, we need before we leave, let's go let's go look at the research right quick. I promised David I would show him how to do this. So, for your research, basically, you want to click on Create Theory. You have so many draws that you can do. Each draw takes away a light bulb. You click on this. If you see this, um, with the exclamation point, that means you've got to have the item in your inventory, and it'll turn it in. Um, if it doesn't have that, you can click on it, and it'll give you... Um, this one gives us 15 to 30 percent progress in random categories um, and then you can just kind of keep going through that we are at a point Oris and Vaniculum we don't have either one of those so let's scrap that you can get um, 
some decent boosts by having different stuff around your research table. Um, you can use these, uh, the uh, enchantment table. Uh, there's a couple of other items that you can use too. And we don't have either one of those, I do believe. No. We're just not going to have any luck with this. There we go. So this is all stuff that we've got to get into uh, as far as breaking stuff down. Vacuous, Cognito, I don't think. Yeah, this is all... Basically, you can find... Uh, what's got vacuos? This has vacuos in it. You can throw one of these in here. Get some of your crystals or your quartz slivers. And as long as you've got two of a kind in there, it will allow you to get those. We've got two of the vacuos. Then we need cognito. And to get to that, paper. Paper has cognito. Oops. Come on, boy. Boy. Now you do want to be careful doing this. It will cause flux in your world. Um, but now we should have both of these. Got Cognito. I put the other one in here. Vacuos. And because we didn't have the exclamation points, we still have them in our inventory. So it's more or less going with um, whatever you kind of want to do with this. We need Terra and Air. That is easy enough for us to do. We've got Air and Terra right here. And once you run out of turns, it'll ask you to complete theory. And if we go into our Thaumonomicon, there is a thing here. If you look here, we've got observation. This is research points that we've got from looking at stuff. This is what we've got from creating theories. So basically, you need to just sit and do research until you can get what you need. Um, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a pain. Um, so, but I think with that, that's it. That's what we're going to leave it with. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!